Hey, super quick context on this video. This is a fully featured and dedicated video for our sponsor, PlexTrack. They paid to be here and I'll totally be transparent about that. But I think this is an awesome conversation because we get to dive into PlexTrack runbooks. I'm working with Nick Popovich, their hacker in residence, and we're doing some demos, some live show and tell where we can explore how you get to act as the adversary. You put your hacker hat on and you do some threat emulation to just mask and clone APT 123XYZ or whatever. Now, you might parallel that to Mitre Caldera or Atomic Red Team, things that we've had videos on this channel on before, but with PlexTrack, you get a report, a deliverable, something tangible that actually has a whole lot of meaning and weight, and it's not just tests passing or failing, like, I don't know, you're clicking the buttons to see whatever happens with Mitre Attack or any of these. The thing is, you get something that has a lot more meaning to it, and you're blending Red Team and Blue Team to get this Purple Team aspect. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see ya. Alrighty, how's it going? What's up, Nick? It's super good to see you. Uh, stoked to be hanging out again and to chat a little bit about PlexTrack. And I think we can dive into like one of the really cool features that I don't think gets as much love as it should. But I want to hear your spiel on runbooks, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, it's it's good seeing you again, John. Always always a good time. And we're going to talk through the runbooks module today, which is pretty exciting. It's got a lot of utility, and it's really focused on the collaboration piece. So with PlexTrack. We know that you come in and you can bring all of your workflows and the output from security assessment and testing. This actually allows you to do some threat emulation activity. So if we think threat emulation, we think purple teaming. I like to call it cyber D and D at times. Also think about tabletops, but it's pretty neat, and we'll showcase how to how to do that in the platform. So in my mind, I always sort of paralleled uh, run books to like a, a Mitre Caldera uh, or like Atomic Red Team, someone that we've also even had some videos on on the, on the channel here to kind of showcase like, look, you can simulate attacker tradecraft, tactics, techniques, and procedures, TTPs. Uh, but I'm stoked because I've never seen you like be able to do anything with that. Like it's neat and nifty, like, hey, I can press these buttons. I can fire off these cyber missile weapons, whatever. But then what? Uh, PlexTrack is really, I think, how we can all synthesize it to really a tangible deliverable at the end of it. So, hey, man, mm. I I'm excited. I I'd love to let you take the floor and let's do some show and tell. Yeah, no doubt. Well said. So I'm going to share out my screen. And it's funny you mentioned, uh, you know, lo love the the threat emulation with Caldera, have, have some experience in that. And then the Atomics you know, in PlexTrack, which I'll show you in a moment, we actually start at a default repository for the procedures for runbooks test plans, have all of the Atomics from the Atomic Red Team. Sweet. So that's pretty cool. So I've shared out my instance and I'm going to log in to, uh, to the platform and we're going to go explore the, uh, the runbooks module. And so briefly... I'm going to come in and take a look at under our content library. This is what I was talking about. We have our PlexTrack curated procedures in here. These procedures are all of the atomics already mapped back to the uh, MITRE ATT&CK, the TTPs, um, or uh, you know the different techniques and, and categories and those types of things. So what's interesting is you can create your own procedures. You can create your own techniques. You can create your own tactics and your own methodologies. The reason you'd want to be able to do that is within runbooks, you can create these things called test plans. So a test plan, um, and now mind you, we can also import test plans from the uh, MITRE Ingenuity and, and their GitHub where, you know, if they say, here's how you want to be APT29, be APT3, <laughs> be all these different APTs, you can pull them in. All it is is a list of procedures. But what I want you to keep in your mind's eye is the capability to take a procedures, whether it's from Atomics or organizationally, you've created your own procedures. Think about your top 25 pen test processes or those types of things. So you can create your own. I think for time's sake, we're not going to go through actually creating the procedures, but you can. I want that to be clear. You can create your own with success criteria, et cetera. So I've created a test plan already called Purple Team Test Plan, and I'm going to start um, a runbooks engagement from this. So I'll keep in mind, perhaps you have Caldera in another environment and you're doing your things. This could be something you do in tandem. So I'm going to create a runbooks test plan engagement. And every time you do a run, you could change the name. You could put in the demographic details, all the boring stuff. Now, what we have here is, I've pre-selected all of the, these are 13 procedures. I think I was emulating something. I don't remember if it was Carter Bank or APT 29 something. But at this point, during a certain run, you have the capability to choose a different procedure or filter oh, by different tactics or techniques so and those cool. types of things. <laughs> so, yeah. And in this run, you could make it so that you have custom procedures for this specific run, or maybe this is a very generic run where you have just the TTPs from whatever. Dude, I see the maze ransomware techniques in here, like FTP, 
just churning it out, exfiltration over ICMP like a silly ping. Oh, that's so cool. Right, ping shell, all the good stuff. So now we have a quick overview of the, the TTPs that we're covering or the areas and techniques that we're covering with these specific um, procedures that we've, we've uh, set up here. And so now briefly, I'm just going to run through. I'm not going to go through all of them, but what I want you to get is the feel for the collaborative nature. So imagine you're in PlexTrack and maybe you have the blue team as well logged into PlexTrack and you're doing a collaborative threat emulation engagement. The different things that you're going to do are here and you're logging in. You have the opportunity to assign different users. Maybe, you know, Jason's on the red team and Will's on the blue team. You have your information for this specific procedure here, your execution steps, your title, the tactics and techniques it's mapping back to, even the process. So you could say, all right, I've started this. I'm in progress here. Um, and now what you can do is for each of the execution steps, you can attest to what you did. So perhaps over here in your threat emulation platform, maybe you're using a Caldera or whatever, you do a thing. Well, here you could say, I did a thing. And you could have multiple execution steps. You could say whether it was successful or not. The blue team can attest to their criteria or success or not. You come through, you can even add uh, different targets. So in this project, I'm just going to add a couple coming down the home stretch. I just want to get the, the high strokes here. So for this one, maybe we got a shell. We say it was successful and they say, well, we alerted and detected. We didn't block it. This one, it failed. And they can say, well, we blocked it. You get the point. You could add notes here, time and date stamp notes, add attachments and artifacts. So as you go through, you have the capability, not only from an engagement standpoint, but let me save this activity that we've done here. So we've saved this. In the engagement, we can see, all right, we have a test plan run. What percent is complete? As we completed processes, you can see, and then you can drill in and see the specific procedures. Now, when you're all done, you could submit this engagement and then the output from the uh, purple team test plan engagement here is going to go to the core Plex track functional, um, core reporting. So we, you know, where, where we're typically dealing with findings, dealing with tracking statuses. Now we have a new menu item here called procedures. So now within your report in Plex track, you have a list of procedures associated. So that's pretty neat. And then think through how this could be utility, not, you know, it could be used beyond threat emulation campaigns. Perhaps if you wanted to have your custom 25 steps to a pen test process, you could start your reporting from uh, a, a test plan and then associated with your report, not only do you have your narrative and your attack scenarios and your findings and all that good stuff, you have a set of procedures that are associated to it. And it's available not only in platform, but in export. So that is a, a lightning style speed run through the high points of the run books module and test plans. Uh, I appreciate you letting me kind of wax poetic a little bit on the, on the utility of it. And uh, yeah. What are you, what are your thoughts? I think that's so cool. So I got to admit, like I'm going to fall on my sword here. Complete honesty. This is a part of the platform that I've just never seen before, but the Not literal uncommon. side by side of like, Hey, red team did this blue team did this. Like that was just like the perfect, I don't know, uh, synthesis combination of like, you're right, purple teaming and having that all in one place is very, very cool. Are you able to export? It, are, are you able to Absolutely. turn out a report? Yeah. So from this activity in Plex track, typically what we'll do is our customer success folks, when folks think that the run books module is germane to their interest, their, their export template is going to have, uh, you know, whether they tag it or whether it says it's coming from a run books module when you export. Yeah. The activity of a run books engagement can absolutely be reported on. So you can see all the data you captured there, represented however you want it to be represented in your report. I do love that you can basically put on the hat of any hacker group, act as the adversary, again, emulate APT123 ABC. Uh, having that as just like a click go button is kind of slick. Yeah. Uh, and man... I, I have a, a lot of good friends that do uh, penetration tests and red teaming and security audits and assessments. And I got to like, again, admit, like, I don't, I don't do that. My job is a security researcher more on the blue team side. Um, but seeing the absolute value of this, because I've heard someone say uh, a great person and champion in the industry, look, the whole reason that we do penetration tests and red teaming, the whole offensive security perspective is to feed detection engineering, right. is to feed right. blue team. And you get that purple team mix. Uh, so this is phenomenal. I love that like everyone can be kind of uh, have a seat at the table here. <laughs> yeah, have cohesion. And what's neat too is because you have the capability here to create your own or you can create a test plan from a set of atomics. What a lot of folks will do is also create their um, test plans based on, you know, the different data breach reports that comes out or annual reports where they list TTPs. Well, guess what? If all of a sudden your CISO comes in and say, hey, how are we stacked up against this report where they list out the top 10 TTPs from XYZ? 
you can literally come in and create a test plan uh, and pull from those TTPs and create a test plan and run that in your organization and report on it instead of having to go through and manually figure out uh, from different GitHub repos and those types of things. You can create, you know, your uh, whatever report 2023 hit list of TTPs from either that come from the Atomics or that come from you creating the test plan there. So you can, it's a living, breathing, I wouldn't say breathing, but <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a way that you can continue to ensure that your telemetry and your detective and preventative controls are staying uh, up to date on the threats that are released from different threat intel feeds and reports. That is phenomenal, my friend. Hey, excellent work as always. Uh, if folks are super duper interested in this or in Plex Track, I don't know, can I ask, how can they take a closer look? I've got some links in the description if folks want to dive in, but I don't know, where are you at next? What are route. you up to? <laughs> you know, I think from this point, you know, going through the links that you provide is, is a perfect avenue. We've had a lot of great conversations. I know that we're, you know, talking about Hacker Summer Camp coming up, so we'll definitely be at the Black Hat and the DEF CON. And uh, I'm not sure about uh, the other cons around there, but I'll be there. Um, and yeah, excited. And I think following the links that you provide is the best route. Cool. Thanks so much, Nick. And we'll chat again soon, my friend.